So let yourself know that if you're in that place where you feel like, especially family, if this is the very core of love in your life and you're feeling all crazy with the demands of family life, then it means that you are absolutely not connected to who you are. How can we stay connected to the divine in our daily lives with work and family while functioning within the demands of the workplace and of family? Well, realize that, first of all, the only reason that you have find yourself in any circumstance is to love. So I know that a lot of people believe that they go to a job to accomplish certain tasks or to engage in things that they then get paid money for. And so they see it in a very literal way. At times when I've counseled people in the past who've had really challenging jobs and they didn't even like their jobs very much, and they would go to their job and find themselves working really hard or feeling disgruntled and feeling upset when they leave. And they were just like, I'm going to quit. And I'd say, okay, but I just want to say something to you that if you quit before you love it, then you'll just find yourself in that same circumstance again, because that's how it works, that we always get a chance to love no matter what. So it'll be a different job and a different climate, possibly workplace, but you'll get the opportunity again to be able to experience yourself loving that rather than fearing that. So they, they were like not happy about that answer because they really hate their job. So they decide that they're going to leave. And so in that experience, they give their notice and they've got two weeks left of work. And so one woman I'm thinking of in particular was a receptionist and she went to work knowing that she was giving her notice that she was quitting the job. And she was so elated to not have to be doing the job anymore that she started showing up in a way that she was just a happy person. She was bringing this happiness to work. Lo and behold, all these people who she had issues with are now in, coming up to her and telling her how sad they're going to be that she's leaving and that, you know, what can we do to help you with this or that? And, and within the first week, she realized that she didn't hate the job after all, that she was showing up disconnected from who she really is and finding herself in the workplace, being all discombobulated and in chaos because she was disconnected and showed up. But now that she was all happy that she was leaving, she was connected and then showed up and the entire experience changed for her. So at that point I said, well, now you can leave. You can change jobs because you understand it's not the workplace, it's us either we are in fear or love, either we are connected or disconnected. So if you show up connected, then you're going to feel that the workday is a lot different and your motivations and your perceptions are a lot different. And you'll find yourself going to work, but it won't be just to work. It will be to engage with the people in the workplace and to love the people that you're engaged with and to show up and be present and have all of those qualities of someone who's in the state of being at one with who they truly are. Presence, awareness, keen perception, knowing there's something more and you're bringing it. So let yourself know that if you're in that place where you feel like, especially family, if this is the very core of love in your life and you're feeling all crazy with the demands of family life, then it means that you are absolutely not connected to who you are. Why? be in the throes of being the good mother or the good father or the good wife or husband or brother or sister and doing it all out of a place of sacrifice and suffering when that does absolutely nothing for anyone. It makes everyone feel guilty and less connected. 
if you're going to be in a family situation, connect to the best of your capacity first and then arrive. Oh, I became such a much better mother once I began meditating. And once I began spending that time by myself alone to regenerate, to re plug in and have myself be in a place where I was fully charged and giving from the overflow to my family. They felt love. They felt respected. They felt happy. They felt engaged. They felt in love with me as I was in love. Much easier way to live life, much more fulfilling way to live life, and really truly the way we're all meant to live life.